<laughs> Welcome back to Portland today. We have a Good Eats segment this morning for you involving a treat for the end of summer. We call it a tartine. And I say that with 99% assurity. <laughs> is, is that how that you pronounce is, that? That is correct, Drew. Good guess. Laura yes. Ohm. I'm yep, saying OHM right. That is right. correct as well. Laura Ohm <laughs> representing Grand Central Bakery on this Wednesday morning, Ashley. And yep. she is preparing for us one of these tartines. This is a peach tartine. Ooh. We have a terrific example on this white plate here. Maybe oh, while gosh. we don't go anywhere, tartine. <laughs> while we look at the tartine, could you please explain what one is? Sure. So tartine is simply a fancy word for toast. Darn and it. yeah, so you I was you expecting can say something bigger. <laughs> um, and I I I could live on toast. I think it's a mm -hmm. perfect food, um, especially when you have really beautiful, delicious bread. I've noticed you have a, what looks to me to be some rye. Um, no, this is actually. I'm gonna leave now. That's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's that is an interesting um, observation. So this is our our beautiful. Um, this is our seasonal loaf. It's it's a corn loaf. It's not corn bread. Right. Um, but it's a it's a yeah it's it's a it's a rustic bread. Some of some of our customers might remember we used to make a corn a used corn bread. This is super cool. We it's 100% locally sourced which is a, a value of Grand Central's. Mm -hmm. So peaches, basil, the flour, the cheese, the, the salt, it's the honey, it's all locally sourced. And what, Laura, what did you put on the tartine? Um, some fresh goat cheese or chev. Or chev. We had a debate yeah. over how to pronounce it. Right. Yeah. She told us There's some chev. unnecessary letters chev. involved in that cheese. Well, Couple that extra. as is the way with, <laughs> with the French language. C-H- E-V-R-E. C-H-E-V-R-E, <laughs> -E, yeah. but you pronounce Chev. it Chev. Yes, and that, that's the recipe we have. Um, I would encourage you to use whatever delicious cheese you have. Um, you can find fresh ricotta um, with fresh tomatoes. It's going to be delicious. Was this made just for TV, or is this actually edible, Laura? I it is ask. actually edible. Because <laughs> it looks awesome. And yeah. you, put, you finish out the recipe while Drew tastes it. What else did you put on the top? Um, uh, some, some sliced peaches. peaches from the Columbia Gorge. You're a loud chewer. <laughs> <laughs> How is the tartine? I took a huge bite. From the chef. So as to get every ingredient in that bite. It okay, is so delightful. Peaches. Oh, it's really great. You have yeah. the basil yes. on top. Yeah, and, and the, the herb, the herb, the basil has that kind of, you know, faint licorice -y taste, mm -hmm. which should go with the good acidity and sweetness of the peaches. Now that I've tasted the bread, I would agree it does not taste like rye. No. But would you agree it has that rye, it has a, a, a rye look to it? Yeah, yeah, well, it's the, it's the heirloom <laughs> corn. Sure, the rye, you sure. You were wrong. You don't have to give oh. in, Laura. <laughs> well, it, so it's this, it's this um, heirloom corn, red Floriani, um, and it's grown by our friends Camas Country Mills down uh, near Eugene. Are you going to let me have I, I don't know if they're beaver fans yeah, or one? not. It looks like Laura's making a okay, second. Well, Laura, we're going to put this recipe on the Portland Today Facebook page, but what did you finish it off with? So you got the peaches, the so, basil. And a drizzle of some uh, local honey and a sprinkle of Jacobson sea salt. Ooh, yum. Can I get okay. the tartine at any of your locations or did you just make this special for the show? No, we made it for the show, but you can get any of our bread the corn and bread. make it your own dang self. Look how pretty that looks. I don't the think corn it loaf, I should good. say. Yeah. Get it. yeah, I can get the corn loaf at yeah. your locations. Yes, you can. I believe you can also get rye. You can, can I get, get a rye, rye at your location? <laughs> yeah. You know what else you can get at a Grand Central Bakery location near you? They have the most amazing breakfast sandwich. This is not part of the segment. I apologize <laughs> to our amazing. producer, John. I know I'm going overboard, but you have that bola sandwich. Yeah. It's got the bacon, the bacon and the egg. egg bolo. And the, oh, my gosh. And right now, you can add fresh tomato from from To the breakfast grown. sandwich. Yep. Yum. And mm. you cannot beat it. Laura Ohm so with good. Grand Central Bakery. I'm going to take a bite of this. We go from food to relaxation. Guys, I, I have to know though. Take it, I'm yes. taste. If I have a piece of toast, I put jelly on it. Is that technically a tartine? That is, sir, a fruit tartine. Wow! <laughs> Look at you go, Rod. <laughs> and then cinnamon sugar would be a cinnamon I'm sugar. I'm gonna class tartine. up the hill household. I make a peanut butter part tartine all the time. <laughs> I bet you peanut do. Peanut butter and toast. All right, thank you so much, Laura.